to the cottage. Why don't you grab your bags and we'll head on in, okay? Thanks for coming to my birthday, guys. I've been looking forward to this for weeks. I have to, and the place looks pretty awesome. So what are we going to do now? Oh, uh, we should probably go fishing. Yeah, let's just grab our stuff, throw it inside, and then we'll get the boat ready. What's the biggest fish you've caught, Brixton? Well, I guess technically it got away, but one time I caught a pretty big fish, and as I was bringing it into the boat, another huge fish ate it, broke my line, and disappeared. Yeah, that didn't happen. Once I caught a nine pound bass. Did we ask Will? Hey, who was that? Maybe it really was Morrison's bass. Really, Nate? Seriously, guys, what was that? Maybe it was a fish or even a turtle. Oh, I think I got one. Whoa. Gross, now it's a four and a half pound bass. Did you guys see that? Hey guys, I'm getting uh, uh, creeped out. Let's, let's head back to shore. Okay, we can do other stuff. Hey, it's getting pretty dark outside. Maybe you should uh, start a campfire soon. Well, can we have s'mores? Well, we just had dessert. There's always room for some more. Okay. Really <laughs> nice! <laughs> Whatever, let's go. Campfires are always my favorite part of camping. Did anyone bring a guitar for a sing along? No, I just like the fire, it looks cool. Ooh, what about campfire stories? Does anyone got one of those? I do, but it's probably too spooky for you. Spooky, yeah, let's hear it. Okay. So. There was this boy around our age, and every day on the way to school, he'd see this old creepy house. Now, this boy was very afraid of that house, and his friends teased him and called him a chicken because he was so scared of it. So, one day, he decided to prove his friends wrong. He walked up to the house. And on the doorknob, there was a little bit of blood. Just a little, little bit. But he was no chicken. So he creaked open the door and walked in. The room was really dark. And there was a ginormous staircase in the middle of the room. On the first step, there was some blood. But he was no chicken. So he kept going. There was a hallway. This was a very long hallway with a door at the end. The doorknob had blood on it. Fresh blood. In fact, it was so fresh that the blood was dripping off of the door. But he was no chicken. So he opened the door slowly. Creak. The room was almost completely dark, except for a little bit of light in the corner of the room. But he was no chicken. So as he walked closer and closer to the light, he got scared. Once at the light, he realized. It was a mosquito. Really, Brixton? 
I thought it was okay. Other than the speed of it. Hey, did I hear you guys say you'd like to hear a good campfire story? Well, I've got a really good one for you because this one, it's real, it's true, and it happened right here on this very lake. It was on a clear sunny morning that a man took his year-old Chihuahua Lucy down to the water for a walk. After about 10 minutes of walking along the shore, the little dog started panting and wanted some water. It was this time that the man noticed a strange green fog started to roll in off the lake. He didn't think much about it. So he let Lucy step into the edge of the water for a quick drink. The man was really surprised by the fog and how quickly it moved in. Within seconds, it was so thick that he couldn't see his hand stretched out in front of him. But then, just as quickly as the fog had blown in, it rolled away and it was as clear and sunny as ever. Thinking Lucy must have had enough water to drink by now, he gave the leash a little tug to pull her back on the shore. But the leash gave no resistance. Lucy was gone. The man panicked and called for help while searching for his little dog. Rescuers came and searched for the little dog for hours, but she was nowhere to be found. Later that evening, the heartbroken man turned on the news in the hope that someone might have found his lost chihuahua. Instead, he learned that there had been a leak at a chemical plant not far from where they were walking, and that the leak had created a thick green fog chemical company of course assured everyone that the fog wasn't dangerous but that man knew that somehow that fog had something to do with his beloved dog's disappearance the man was then encouraged to find that the story was also featured on the news that night and that many strangers were continuing to search for Lucy all that he had at that point was an empty leash but he had a bit of hope. Every day for a year, the man went to that same spot along the lake, hoping to find Lucy, but he never saw her again. Time passed, and the man moved on. But others continued to wonder, what happened to that missing dog? Stories started circulating as sightings of a small dog in the water. But each time everyone was able to get close enough, the creature disappeared. One fisherman claims that as he was pulling in his catch, a creature with a dog's head leapt out of the water, bit his catch in half, and disappeared back into the depths. The stories kept coming and only got stranger. People started finding blood trails and parts of large fish up and down the shorelines of multiple beaches. But the eeriest stories were those where blood trails weren't coming from the water, but were going back to the water. And instead of fish guts, animals were being pulled from the wooded areas nearby and parts were left on the shore. Some say they once even found a human leg. Nobody knows what happened to Lucy the Chihuahua on that fateful night. The only thing we really know is that she travels from one lake to another. Just like this one. She hunts for prey both in the water and on land, leaving behind only bloody leftovers. Really, Grandpa? Yeah, right. That was pretty creepy. That could never happen. I'm getting kind of chilly, guys. Let's go back inside. Yeah. Yeah. Nice story, Grandpa.
Lucy's real. Carter, you don't think that's real, do you? No, but earlier on the boat. Yeah, that was a little weird, but not a big deal. Besides, nothing else happened today. But I saw some There's blood. There's no way, Carter. That's not real. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I guess so. Happy birthday, Brixon. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday, Brixon. Thanks, guys. Happy birthday, Ted. Really, Olive. All right, guys, so what are we going to do? Um, let's explore the lake a little. And me and Mo can use the canoe, and Carter and Nate can use the kayaks. Are you sure it's a good idea? Like, I mean, yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, okay. All right, why don't you guys come on over and have some breakfast, and then you can get started. Seriously, guys, how am I the first one? We're right behind you. We're just getting our life jackets on. Who messed with my life jacket? I think it's too tight. Carter? <laughs> but that's cold. Guys, Ashley, where is he? He's probably just hiding under the kayak. We have to help him. Wait, what is that? Is that underpants? Lucy Monster is real. She's a shark walba, and she doesn't like underpants. <laughs> well, we gotta get out of here, Brixon. What are we going to do? We have to get my mom. Enough. Enough for both of you. We need to pull together, and we need to get out of here. The first thing we need to, to do is get away from the water. Why are you guys standing there like something's gonna happen? Let's go find. Oh, look, a puppy. <laughs> Mom! I didn't really need this, but I could use some help. I'm okay, just a scratch. Still okay, Briston, are you there?
Jason, what's going on? Olive, there's a shark wawa. We need to get out of here. Fishing in this? There's the four of us. Yeah, Brixton, we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> Mo sleeping. <laughs> Do we ask Mo? Hey, hey, what was that? Oh, I messed up there. They just fight around the thing. Yeah, I see that. I was bringing it into the boat, and oh. a huge fish ate it, broke my line, and disappeared. Ah. Stupid phone! Oh, bro, it's not the four and a half pound bass. Let's get my mom. Your mom? We have to call Richard Dreyfus. Who is that? From Jaws. <laughs> Jaws, hello. Your mom? We have to call Richard. Oh my God! <laughs> Your mom? We have to call Richard Drewfish. <laughs> Richard Dryfish. <laughs> How about Richard Dryfish? <laughs> what are we going to do? We have to get my mom. Enough. Enough from both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see your hand in the village. <laughs> Buchan, what's going on? Olive, we need to get out of here. There's a shark wawa. <laughs> Buchan, what's going on? <laughs> Buchan, what's going on? Olive, a, we need to get out of here. <laughs> Brixton, what's going on? Olive, we need to get out of here. He's <laughs> doing it well. Play out. Brixton, what's going on? Olive, we need to get out of here. Go. Go. I don't think that worked. What just happened? <laughs>